Anybody else? This is in beta. Oh, absolutely. If you want to play on the floor there, go for it. You should. But, you know, there are some things that enter into our lives, like friends and stuff. But, you know what, this is the importance of foundation. And why we need to have it on a solid foundation. We need things that are going to work. Are you having trouble there? <laughs> There's an instruction manual in the bag if you need it. I'm liking where this is going. Just build like a, a good good structure that kind of goes around here. Like build a wall if you can. Yeah, something sweet like that. So as we're going through life, you know, we have things that we're trying to build our life on. You know, our friends come and then we start building a structure around there. But we start using building materials in our own lives, you know, not setting down a proper foundation of knowing who we are first. All right? This is the importance of having a strong foundation. The way that you find out who you are is by viewing, like I said before, how God views you. How many of you have ever had anybody insult you before? Okay? Now, it would be very easy when people insult you that you start building your life around that. That you start taking that to heart. That you start seeing yourself as that. And so as you start seeing yourself as that loser, what you're starting to do is you're starting to build your foundation on the fact that you're a loser. But the foundation is built on something that someone else said. Words. Words. And those things are very, very shaky and things. Are people just building you up with stuff like this. So it's like people coming along and saying that you're a loser and stuff. And then all of a sudden your house is just knocked over. Because the, something bad in life came around. Exactly. It's a little frustrating, isn't it? It was looking really good. They're putting a lot of work into it. But what you're doing is you're not building a proper foundation. And people are coming across the same thing. You're just really crappy looking. I mean, seriously, look at that. But, you see this? There's a little bit of a difference between the building materials that are being used in the foundation of what the structure is. So what they're doing right now is they're setting up a foundation for the rest of their lives. This is an example right here. Is this supposed to be a giraffe? <laughs> That's pretty good. I like his T-Rex arms. So, you know, just as you're going through life, what we need to do is you need to be very, very careful that what you're doing is going to be a proper foundation. It's also with choices of how you're living your life. You know, so many times we can be going through life and we're thinking that we're doing okay, but we're living off of a set of standards that are not okay. We're doing what everybody else is doing. And then, you know what happens in a lot of other people's lives, I've noticed? When crap happens in their life, their life falls apart. Have you ever seen anybody like that? It's when stuff happens, it's just like their life explodes. It's a powder keg. Does anybody know anybody like that? I know a couple people, so everybody should have their hands up because everybody should know a person like that. So what happens in their life is, is people go through their life and they're thinking, I'm going to do exactly what everybody else is doing. So they start following the blueprint that everybody else has, and they start building their foundation just like everybody else. It was too tall. You see, it still has this foundation right there. So try building a wider, stronger foundation on that, and it'll work for you good. So what happens is we start building our foundation off of what everybody else has, and so we're, we're building just like everybody else with the no. same building materials. Because a deck of cards, I'm going to tell you right now, was one dollar. One dollar for a deck of cards. Do you know how much it was for a, a, a set of play toys for a child? Twenty bucks. You know, it takes a little bit more to understand and work with these building materials, but the payoff oh, no. is a lot. <laughs> because it's like, I can come over here, I'm poking the crap out of this thing right now, and it is not coming apart. Why? Because these toddler toys, do you guys hear what I'm saying right now? These toddler toys, infant toys, very easy to understand and use. You saw within minutes, we haven't made a giraffe. <laughs> I'm making a point right here. Infant toys, easy to use and understand. It is easier to build your life with these materials and do something that is solid, it is sturdy, it is very colorful. It is easier to do it with those materials and that foundation than it is with this deck of cards. This deck of cards is not yet. This deck of cards is very easy to get a hold of. You just go to the store, give them a dollar, they give you a deck of cards, materials to work with. And they're all the same. But it is harder to build a solid foundation with this deck of cards. And it is more likely to fall apart. Do you guys see what I'm saying right here? No, I'm just looking at your work right here. It's very beautiful. <laughs> no, 
So I got this written down right here. <coughs> you know, life is full of truth. You guys know that? Life is full of truth. You are doing excellent over here, buddy. I am just so proud of you. Look at this. Look at that. That is just awesome. Look at that. It just moves around. Did you build that into the engineering that it would kind of shift around on the surface like that? I think they do that in bomb shelters. So life is full of truth. You know what? People will try to establish their own truth, their own way of thinking. They will try to come up with their own materials to make their life work. But I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, like what I was saying before, these materials are very easy to understand. They're easy to work with. And they're already available. They're already available. There are truths that are already set. All you have to do is you have to look for them. Where do you find them? God's Word. All throughout the Bible, everywhere you look, there are truths there. And this is the cool thing. Look over here with these deck of cards. I'm only looking. I'm only looking. You look at these deck of cards over here. Can you guys see this deck of cards over here? All right? She is having to come up with her own ways. And each individual card usually generally works on its own. She has to be very careful to try to even get it to work with another piece. She's having to come up with her own, actually way, her own system here. And look at this. It's falling apart as she's working on it. I didn't even do anything. Like, like this. <laughs> and it is falling apart. All right? That is the example right here. There's... Those are her own ideas going into the structure, trying to make it work, trying to just scratch something out so that she can build. And eventually what she'll do is she'll just have a little tiny shack, of, a shack of cards. I know. Now she's, getting, she's building a lean-to, guys. Against the, this is what's happening with those materials. Now over here, Gage over here, my buddy Gage. Look at these. Is that a headboard? No, it's like a rhino. That's, that's pretty impressive. He's building this structure, but if you see the way, has anybody ever owned Legos before? Okay, I want you guys to look at it this way. May I borrow a piece? Okay, you see this piece that right here? This piece is designed to work with every other piece. Now these are two different pieces. These are two truths that are available to him to build his life on. Everybody's just looking at him. Stop building for a second. Look at these two pieces up here, guys. Yellow piece shiny! Where? These two pieces are different, but they are built to work together and work very well together. And what can happen is I can come over here and it works well with every other truth that is available in his structure. No problem. I just kind of thought that I could do a second hit. It's like, you know, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Whoa! So, with this, are you guys getting what I'm saying here? You can try to do it with the world system. They're, they're, they're building materials to happiness. They will tell you everything that you need to do. It's like if a friend is stabbing you in the back, they'll say, get even. Let yeah, me borrow a card real quick. I'm not going to knock it over. A friend is stabbing you in the back. They say, get even. That is a very shallow answer that if you start building your life around it, it will cause your structure to collapse later. Because there is nothing to hold this thing together. It does not work well with other ideas. It is not designed to work with the rest of your life. It is very, very two-dimensional. Someone did something bad to me. Get even. Do something bad to them. You know what? My parents are really ticking me off. Well, what you need to do is you just need to make their life a living hell. That'll show them. Oh, everybody's being mean to me. You should run away. You know what? My life is terrible. I just hate the way that I am. You should probably cut yourself. You should probably become an alcoholic. You should turn to drugs. Very two-dimensional answers that when you start building your life around it, your life will be a deck of cards that will fall down later when it comes into contact with all the other crappy ideas that the world is giving you right now. Well, my boyfriend just cheated on me. Go find another boyfriend and screw around. That'll make it easier. Well, my girlfriend just cheated on me. Do the same. Very two-dimensional ideas. You know what? And these things right here in the truth is saying someone just, someone just did something bad to me. Instead of using the two-dimensional ideas, why don't you use something from God's Word, something that's a little bit more three-dimensional, that is actually made to build a solid structure. Someone just hurt me. Someone did something bad to me. Forgive them. You see how nicely that fit into the rest of that structure right there, into the life? It adds to it. 
It gives strength to it. Start building your foundation with those materials instead of the two-dimensional ones over there. So I even bump the table, and it's just moving just a little bit. This is, this is what happens in life. I can just bump on this right over here. Come on, girl. And just... <laughs> a little bit of a storm. And she's been going to town over there with her cars, and she still does not have anything. He's got three different structures already. Successful lives. Do you see what I'm saying here? The importance of foundation, guys. Do you see what I'm saying? I really hope that you do. Because over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking through the Bulletproof series about different things. Like what I said before, someone did something bad to me. Forgive them. I'm going to be talking about that specifically. If you build your foundations with these principles, I can tell you that your life will be incredible. It won't be a life that is free of pain, free of hurt, free of anything. But I will say that when life comes around and starts shaking, your life is going to you know, just knock around a little bit. But it's not going to be the thing where the whole thing explodes, like over here. Oh, that's beautiful. No, no. I, just, I just have to. I just have to. See? That was the cool one. Yeah, it was the lean to was the best that came out of there. But over the next few weeks, guys, I'm going to be talking through this Bulletproof series, and I want you guys to do your best to be here every single week. Can I ask that of you guys? Is that okay? Be here every single week. This is going to be several weeks that I'm going to be going through, and I'm going to be going through topics, you know, dealing with relationships. What do you do when your boyfriend or your old girlfriend is just being an idiot? What do you do? What do you do in situations where you, you're dealing with your, your self-image and you just feel terrible about yourself? I'm talking to someone that came from that. If, if you were looking around at anybody that just felt really great about themselves and just had a whole bunch of confidence, was bringing over with it, I was not the person you went to. I was on empty with that. I, when I had conversations with people, a lot of you can identify with this, I couldn't even look people in the eyes. I had difficulty with that. And I will show you, I will tell you what, what I went through to get to where I am now, to where I can actually get in front of people. I can look people in the eyes when I talk to them now. I actually feel good about who I am. Next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you guys things that I have learned that other people have taught me. Things from the Bible. The Bible is just one big instruction manual, guys, of how to put together a... <laughs> it looks like a Muppet, doesn't it? Anyways, I will show you how, how to build something that will stand. Because, I mean, it's like, you know what? Part of, part of the structure came down here. You see that? Part of it came down here. But the foundation is still there. What now? <laughs> see, as I've been talking, she tried to do it her way with the world system, and now she's actually starting to see. That's another thing we we'll to be talking about, guys. How your, how your foundation and your example will help others that are trying to build their own lives and failing miserably. So I want you guys to be back here for the next few weeks. We're going to be going through Bulletproof. I want you to be telling your friends at school, saying, hey, there's this crazy-looking kid that is talking about Bulletproof. He's going to teach us how to get through life without our life exploding in our faces because you know what? That is the life that is being set up for most of the people today. Especially right now with the way that the economy has been going. The, the, the materials that have been just fed to you guys are terrible. It's like they're, they're giving you matchsticks and saying, build a life, do something with yourself. And you know what? I'm going to offer you guys mega blocks. I'm going to say, build a life for yourself. So be here. Invite some friends. Get some people here because they need to know about this too, all right? Thank you guys for coming this week. We'll be here next week.